Welcome. Today we're going to talk about a bunch of the bugs with iPadOS 15 because they are myriad. There's a bunch of stuff that just isn't working. Before we do that, let's dive into the ways you can support the channel. You can subscribe, hit the bell, thumbs up. You can take one of my courses on Skillshare. But let's talk about iPadOS 15 and what is broken. So one of the first things, Safari is just honestly terrible UI, terrible UI. So let's open up Safari. I don't act, even actually mind the tabs. The tabs work for me. Let's open up Matthew Casanelli's site. Let's open up my site. So three sites are open. Now, say I wanted to close these last two only. I can you know, hit Command W or I could tap with my finger. I can hit the X here, but notice the X moved for the next tab. This is something that did not happen in previous Safari. Previous Safari, I could just tap a bunch of Xs. They would, the tabs would remain the same size. And then once I'd paused, it would work. It would actually, you know, then it would expand to fill the space. The other way this sucks is right here. If I go X, oh, my X is gone now. It's moved. That's just bad UI design. Like the UI touch targets are jumping all over. So it is makes it hard to work with them. Next up, let's look at messages. So let's just enter a message for my wife here. Hide it and slide over. Open it up. It closed out of the message and I can't get back into it until I open up one for my daughter or from anyone else. And now I can get back into it. Messages is just broken in iPad OS 15 and slide over. I, why, why, how did this even get past shipping? Shortcuts. There are a bunch of issues with shortcuts. So shortcuts let's say open app here. This is just a demo shortcut. You see, I can click and open it. That's great. Let's go in here and here my daughter is coming down. So we'll pause for a second. Okay, we're back. Daughter is upstairs. Let's go to bring open app back in here. We can click on it. What about if we bring it again? So this UI, say ask each time, I can still do open app. Of course I can. Of course I can this time. So let's go in here. Let's go into automation. When we try to use some of the UI, so this, you see, I in automation, I can't actually click on Obsidian to change that. Because why? Because I can't. Now, this happens in shortcuts as well. Over here, if we hit open app, it can happen here as well. So let's say we close all these back out. Play music. And we'll say, listen now. What's in there? Sure, color me in, whatever this is. Sure. Done. And I can reselect it at this point as well for some reason. Choose songs. Now I can't. So this is something that happens seemingly randomly. As you saw, it worked a bunch of times and then didn't work. All right, if I open app, bring that in. Now I can select it again. All right, I could choose an app. Let's say avocado. Why not avocado? I can still do it. Now I've seen sometimes where when it doesn't reselect on you. So book buddy still works good. Say do it and slide over and now I can't select it again. That you can also hit the uh, disclosure like the information over here. And now I should be able to select something again. Great. So I could say any do. That's good, but ultimately it's just broken. I've listened to people who do more complex shortcuts like Federico Vitici as well, and he says that lots of times you'll be dragging UI around and it just breaks. You can't use it anymore, and shortcuts is not great. Even, uh, here's another one. This one is like, I hate it. Um, so it does all this stuff to like parse out my markdown file for a YouTube video for my writing, and then it should spit this whole chunk of text back out, but this clipboard ones don't work. I cannot copy anything to my clipboard. So it's just, just broken. Another one that happens regularly is if I was going to search, switch to YouTube. Again, this takes a few tries often. Okay, now we're seeing it. So if I hit shortcuts now, in theory, you can see it says shortcuts open in theory. But the truth is not actually going to work. This will not work. So if I hit enter, nothing. Shortcuts, now it works. Enter, it works. YouTube, work. Same. Messages, that'll work now. 
YouTube works again. So it's intermittent when it will work. You can also generally reach up and touch it to make it work even when the UI is broken like that. But the UI for spotlight selection is broken. Uh, intermittent Ling, who just knows it's just not reliable. All right, now for the final bug, it has to do with taking my iPad off the Visa stand and putting it on one of the standard Apple keyboards. And sometimes this work, in fact, it seemed to work more often. It took me a while to capture this footage and I never was able to capture it live in, uh, in a single recording. Hence, you know, I've changed because it's a couple days later. But I'll pull it off the Visa stand and then I will put it on the Apple keyboard and it will crash. And in practice, this has been happening to me regularly, like a few times a day. Uh, and because I, every time I come back down to my desk, I put my Apple iPad back up on the Visa stand. And it just doesn't, like, I'm not sure how this continued to happen. It happened late in the beta cycle. It happens with my 2018 uh, iPad Pro, my old one that my wife now uses. I brought it down and tested it when she's been out. And it also will crash if I've left it plugged in for a certain amount of time on my stand. I've tried with multiple hubs. I've tried with older USB-C hubs that worked fine and didn't have this issue. I've tried with Thunderbolt 4 hubs from CalDigit and from, um, oh, was it Mac something? Uh, I was going to say Mac Stories, but that's not right. That's a website. So ultimately, iPad OS 15, while I love the features for um, split screen, while I love a bunch of the new features, and I've done a video on that, it just feels broken. It feels like a piece of software that was never ready to ship, and they just had to hit a date anyways instead of pushing it back. That's it. If you liked the video, thumbs up below. If you loved it, subscribe, hit the bell. YouTube will let you know something happened. You can also become a YouTube member, and they actually do get my courses for free. So... Look below to join or to even you know, super thanks if you just want to say thanks for this video. Or you can take one of my courses on Skillshare. There's links to all those below. Have an excellent day.